gonna be weird to say, but good evening, everybody. It's almost uh, five o'clock, getting ready to do the aqueduct, the LA aqueduct section. Uh, it's very, very hot, very, very dry, about uh, about 16 mile stretch. Had a, well, let's see, it's a very strange night here at Hiker Town. Hanging out is great. Um, I would definitely recommend if you're coming through here, uh, just an FYI, the place is very dirty. Uh, we had uh, some kind of bugs in the little bunkhouse that we ended up getting, in the bank at least. I've heard other similar stories. I got bit on the side of my leg, probably by a cockroach, I'm assuming. Um, but other than that, it was a very cool vibe, very good atmosphere here. But um, yeah, we just a uh, tent instead of sipping in the bunk. A little bit, we'll be heading out. Plan is to hike at least 17 miles. And then uh, that takes us into a water spigot or a faucet or something underneath a bridge or highway. Probably cowboy camp there and then uh, pick up in the morning um, and just keep hiking and see where we get. Trying to get it to Hatchapee Tuesday morning early. All right, we got the night hike crew. Bigfoot in front of me. Woohoo, good to hike with you again, man. How's your how's your night last night, buddy? Yeah, I was doing all right, but I think you had a more troublesome night than I did. <laughs> yeah, getting bit by whatever I got bit by. The Bigfoot has a sleeping bag, so he never really touched the mattress. But and behind me, High Five is back. Welcome back, High Five. What's up, everybody? <laughs> How you been, dude? I've been really good. Yeah. Nice to catch back up to you guys. Heck yeah. And, excuse me, you caught yes. Yeah, yeah I caught you and then. You went into town and you caught back up with us. Yep. LA Aqueduct. This is going to be interesting. Oh. There it is, the LA Aqueduct. Not at all how I had pictured things. That's uh, quite incredible, actually. outside of Hiker Town. That's number six. It's only 11.8 miles away. That's not too bad. Stories that good, I don't tell but, stories that good either, but uh, I'll try. So this guy did the AT in, in 2019, and uh, apparently there are a lot of turtles, and somehow this guy had heard somewhere that if you move a turtle from the trail, you have to move it in the direction you he's walking in, because otherwise it gets confused. <laughs> so, so being a good fucking Samaritan, he grabs a turtle and puts it. Uh, about, I don't know, just off trail in the same direction, but right next to a fucking cliff. And Aww. the turtle takes a step and boing, boing, oh, boing, no. boing. No. He, he just drops off the cliff. And the way he told it, man, like there was this, this like this hollow shell kind of sound, like just oh. booming away. He said booming he felt away. so bad too because he was just trying to help out. <laughs> And <laughs> oh, poor guy, he, he was like with a really sad face. Yeah. The, rest of the, the rest of the table just laughed. <laughs> so bad, dude. The, the look on his face was really sad, but very yeah. funny. <laughs> now look at the light on the mountains over there. Yeah, this whole this is this is gonna be a good night hike. Take these off. Perfect. It's nice and calm. No wind. Almost time for glow sticks. Yeah. Yeah, but I, yeah. the, the, the little light that goes still over and Oh, wow, yeah, look at mountain. that. Yeah, we got our glow sticks ready. Everybody that left kind of got them tonight. Man, is that pretty. <laughs> look yeah, at that. Cool. Wow. 
about to head to a rave, guys. It's about 8 o'clock. Absolutely beautiful out here, too. Look at that. Uh, eight point something to the uh, the faucet water source under the bridge. <laughs> yeah. Too many ants there. <laughs> All right, well, got a, just a tad over three miles left until this uh, faucet. The uh, lack of sleep's catching up to me from last night with all the uh, bed bugs or whatever the heck they were. I think it was like just a regular bug, to be honest with you, just biting me. Uh, I'm tired. But I only got about another hour of hiking. It's uh, 9.20, so by like 10.40, I'll be off to La La Land. So, uh, all honestly, I'm just gonna end the night here. Not a long day. Just literally walking basically dirt roads at night. But uh, I had fun talking to the, to the guys. Lots of mice on this road, so like, there's no issues at camp tonight. Probably camp just up from the faucet, making it a 17 point something mile day. I think a 17.2 mile day. And uh, looking at a 23 mile day tomorrow, which will get us real close to, to Hatchapi for a nice little Nero. Uh, I already got the hotel booked, so it's gonna be nice. I need to do some stretching. That, uh, cork ball that I lost at the RV resort. Man, I didn't know how much I was using that thing. But, yeah, I'm starting to lock up. Feet are starting to hurt. And uh, I just need a good night's sleep to rest it all off. It'll be fine in the morning. Anyway, good night, everybody. I'll see you in the morning. Hey, good morning, everybody. Hi there. And this guy should look familiar. Right time, That's doing right. trail magic for us again here at the Wind Farm, wow. where we camped out last night. But uh, hey, man, I appreciate you. Thank you so much, dude. You got it, man. Solid. Thanks, man. You got it. Hey, guys, keep it up. One foot in front of the other. Heck yeah, fella. Spread those smiles. <laughs> sleep that I got at the campsite back there it was very good but it just wasn't long enough about six hours sleep if I had to guess probably five and a half hikers coming in and setting up it seems to be a real popular place it's like uh, where the first water source is after the aqueduct is over but uh, yeah, last night I was struggling I was driving the struggle bus for sure my feet hurt so bad from walking the roads. We didn't recover in hiker town really at all. At least I didn't. And, uh, you know, just not enough sleep last night. But hopefully managed to somehow make it through today. I'm real tired today. I don't know how, but we got 23, hopefully, miles. Puts us eight miles away from Tehachapi. Uh, Sounds like so far away right now. It's rough when you don't have enough time to recover, you know? We also gotta go up 2,300 feet or 2,500 feet today. So yeah, it should be a nice long day. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be as hot as it was yesterday, but uh, it's already feeling like a scorcher. With a long water carry, and then knowing we have a town stop tomorrow, I'm still carrying about three days of food just so I can save money on groceries. Um, I'm beat, man. I'll be completely honest. I'm, I am wiped out, man. Of course, tomorrow, tonight, get a good night's sleep, and tomorrow, have a better night's sleep, so.
this one of those days, I'd rather just quickly hop over up top rather than go back and forth on these goofy switchbacks for the past three hours. I think I've been up and over this thing twice already. But, uh, I think uh, the reason why I'm frustrated today, a little, little rant for you, you know? It's not in this section, but a lot of the trail is like this. This real loose uh, sand going uphill, and a lot of it has been on the sides right here. I'm falling off because I'm tired and carrying three liters of water, so I'm just like sliding off. Oh, man, I can't wait to get to the top of this thing. I am uh, super frustrated right now. All right, that was a little rant. Thanks for sitting through that. Now I'm gonna turn you guys back on at the top. Could that be trail magic? As for now, I would love to there to be as much snow as possible because the more snow, the less chance for wildfires. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't mind the snow. Either. So nice that this water caches are there. Like I only drank one liter in anticipation of going all the way to camp today, but you know, when you can sit at a cache, know that it's there, and you just drink two, two and a half liters of water without having to worry about your storage, and then. And we are carrying three liters again to camp. It's definitely hot. 72 in the shade. I saw at the thermometer back there, but definitely hot. question for you locals or people that are just around wind farms like this the fans that aren't moving are they broke do they just need maintenance or are they off for some reason like they've they've filled up their i don't know whatever or quota for the day or something like that i don't know let me know we don't we don't know out here big foot and high five I may have been talking about it we're not sure but we're curious let us know in the comments also, while you're down there, thumbs up and share for the stupid YouTube algorithm. Thank ya. PCT seems to be getting a little bit eroded here. Almost seven o'clock. Got here about uh, 5.30 or so. Ran up to uh, get some trail magic from a dude named Magic Man. It's my first time meeting him. And it's uh, Bigfoot's third time? Yeah, third, yeah. Third time, so he get, he gets a sticker after you visit, after you see him once, you get a sticker. So he's got two stickers now, because he's special. You got three. Oh, you got three I now? Got three now. You've yeah. seen him four times? No, 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 you got the sticker the first time. Oh, I didn't get my sticker. Oh, yeah. 
Aww. Oh, well, I don't <laughs> want a sticker. It's fine. Uh, but camp it out here. Uh, plan is to go to sleep as soon as possible. We're both just so tired. Looking forward to town stop tomorrow. Um, ended up doing 40 miles almost in 24 hours. Pretty good. Having some Packet Gourmet Texas State Fair chili. Never had it. It's going to be delicious. And um, tomorrow we're going to wake up at like 4 in the morning. I don't want to do 4 in the morning either. And we're going to do 8.5 miles because we got a free bus that will pick us up at the uh, Highway 58 junction of, what's the road? Cameron Pass. Cameron Pass. To bring us into town and hopefully we can get a ride back too at some point. But staying in a private room, Marriott or Farfield Inn or whatever seems okay based on all the other hotels and nobody's gonna be snoring. And uh, man, gonna have a great night there. Probably take like 12 showers because I am dirty. <laughs> I'm yeah. terrible. And I stink. Oh my god, I smell like ammonia right now. But uh, yeah, laundry on site, so a real nice chill day. We're gonna do a breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner, at least while we're in the tent. And then town. a breakfast and a lunch the next day. <laughs> they both said, and a breakfast and a lunch the next day, too. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys in the morning and to hatch a pee tomorrow. Woohoo! Hey, <laughs> town, baby.